This is Cook City, Montana. We're going to check out the bistro. Well, we finished up at the bistro and it is all right. It was uh, kind of expensive, but it is a small town. It's kind of like one of those, the last stop, you know, so uh, the prices are going to be higher. The gas is high. I paid over $4 a gallon, I think $4.14 a gallon for premium because it's the turbo here and I like having my full power so I run premium 91 at this elevation so uh, what do you think Haley? of the food? yeah I had to cut most of the fat off my steak thing yeah it, it had a lot of marbling it was alright be optimistic about it there was a lot of marbling you know a little bit of chewiness it's okay though Right? And get those jaws working out, you know? Mm -hmm. Get that muscular jaw look, you know? Anyway, we're going to head on to Yellowstone and try to catch the sunset. Pay as you exit. Okay. Yes. I, I guess I'm okay, right? Yeah, they, they trust people. I guess I'm not breaking any rules. Alright. I'll pay as I exit, but uh, we have got the access card. So I just have to pay for the Rubicon. Be very aware. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. My dad joking. Still want a hat. A hat? Cowboy hat. Oh, cowboy hat. I refuse to leave the West without a cowboy hat. This whole thing would have been for nothing. I'll get you one at a gas station. Okay. <laughs> Give me a plastic <laughs> one. No, I want a nice one. Check it out. And you know that thing could hit the side of this Jeep and flip it over. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> that was a butt licker. I just looked at you. You just gave me a pet stare. <laughs> Did you know that snow can come to rest on the back of a buffalo and it not melt? Seriously? Yeah, they've got such good insulation that snow can sit there and not melt. Finally. That one over there is a big one. You want to ride a buffalo? Yes. <laughs> I think they probably used to have that. But now, I'm going to leave them alone, let them do their thing. Uh, look at the baby. go through the Lamar Valley and not see any buffalo. We went through two herds and stopped about what? Four times? Just to let buffalo pass?
I'd say that's about the closest thing to a sunset that we're going to see with the cloud cover over Yellowstone right now.